So, apparently, everybody had a meeting, and I wasn't invited. And so, uh, here we are. Now listen, guys. I mean, this is like the greatest monster team ever. You don't want to break up the band, right? Do it! Guys, you don't want me to make a mess. Let me go to the restroom, and I'll come right back later. Drop it, Tom! Wait! Wait! Um, I'll let you guys have Saturday off. And, uh, I'll buy you all a steak dinner. Off with his head. Marsha. Janine, get rid of him. Ew, his mouth is still moving. Well, at least he doesn't have to go to the bathroom anymore.
so I hear you want to come to Monster Day. Well, that ain't happening. Now, what? I don't want to hear any excuses. Listen, ever since you ate Cincinnati, the city wants nothing to do with you coming to Monster Day. Anyway, oh, put your belly aching. Anyway, he may not be able to go to Monster Day, but you can go to Monster Day. Hope to see you there. human and he's asked me to translate come to monster day lots of fun what else food weird stuff yeah right anything else oh yeah monster friends all right good what oh that's that's so tacky. He says you'll have a howl of a good time. That's terrible. Oh, you think that's funny. All right, anyway, come to Monster Day. We're all gonna have a lot of fun, and uh, we'll see you there.
It was heavenly. Heavenly. We had a hell of a good time. Sorry. of all the monsters so we installed this door knocker and so here's my plan we're gonna give it a little knock and then the monsters can kind of get out of the way so we won't get attacked okay okay we're coming in don't eat us Yay. Okay, <laughs> so look guys, that didn't quite work didn't out. didn't work! But, we'll give you a brain check on that one. <laughs> Bye! Bye-bye! Hi, I'm Tom Savini, and I'm on the streets here in Greeley, Colorado, home of Monster Day and birthplace to the Greeley Gremlin. Now, it started with a simple idea, a day to celebrate monsters. And they're often overlooked. Monsters are part of our everyday life. They are woven into our culture in a thousand different ways. So join us for a day like no other, Monster Day.
And this is exactly what we did 40 years ago. I know, isn't it? We did it 40, it? I know, 40 it? years ago we did this. I remember <laughs> what the If you have any questions or would like to place an order, please call us at the number on the box. Have a very good year. Until next time. to go to Monster Day? Mm, sorry, not this year. Huh? But you get to go. That's right. Great. So now you've got the big head. Look who's talking. But you can head on down to Monster Day. There's never been a day like Monster Day. Please? Nope.
kick at the last one.
we have a new member of the Monster Day family, Fang Gloria, or as we like to call her, Fang. Watch her come to life as Ed paints her fast. So this is Greeley the Gremlin's latest friend, Fang. And she is just painfully cute. And we're gonna paint her fast and you'll see her transform before your very eyes. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the latest member of the Greeley Gremlin Monster Day family. Hello, everybody! I'm so happy to meet you! Bye! Open program. Greeley has a model train museum. Here's Michelle to welcome Fang to Greeley. Hi, I'm Michelle Kempema with the Colorado Model Railroad Museum, located here in Greeley, Colorado. We're so excited for Fang, our newest member of our Monster Day family, and we hope that you enjoy her too. Thanks for joining us for Virtual Monster Day this year. We hope you have fun. But wait! There's more.
These are some of the great people that have made this happen. Monster Day Memories. All right, well, I'm Allison Hamling with the Downtown Development Authority, and I'm here with Michelle Kempelma, Colorado Model Railroad Museum, and Amy Dugan with Visit Greeley. And we were here the very first days after we got an email, a very strange email. Very strange. Amy, I think you got the email. What did that email say? So we got an email from Ed and Marcia Edmonds at Distortion saying, hey, we've got an idea for a great event. It's a little unique. But what do you think? And Ed and Marcia actually laid this out for us. Talked about, let's have monsters in the downtown plaza and let's see if we can get the stores to be involved. And we all went, yay, and got a group together and our meeting happened. Well, we, we Ed showed up with like three pages of notes that he's in vomited in out from his head. Costume. Christy showed up in, in alien costume. costume. Yes, that's true, yes. In the, at, at a restaurant. <laughs> He showed up in an alien costume, head to foot, yep, and, and got all the stairs. And he did, Ed does not know how famous he is, really, but he, but he, he had these three pages of notes that, that he literally vomited out of his head. And if you know the stuff that's in Ed's head, kind you of know scary. that that's scary. <laughs> but we had the right group of people, and everybody said, let's, 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 you know what, let's do this, this sounds fun. And thank goodness we had a couple of nerds in the group. <laughs> you, Michelle, <laughs> resident nerd, Michelle, uh, Brian, and Brian <laughs> Beat from the, from the yeah. city of Greeley, who is who goes to cosplay and stuff, and he yes. and his family are the best cosplay players. They, they really are. Best, the best they stuff. are amazing. So we got all the right people together and made this happen, and decided that it needed to have a fundraising charity aspect to it. Um, so we picked Don't Be a Monster from Greeley who go into schools and do programs teaching people, teaching kids how to not be a monster, how to not bully and how it makes you feel when you bully and they use Frankenstein who gets it, bullied. It is so yeah. neat. We went to one with all the junior high kids. That's we good. were there that too. Brave. <laughs> and it was amazing. Um, I'm so proud of what they do in our community yeah. and I think they really are making a difference for kids and that really that really motivates me to yeah. continue to be a part of this. And when we were in the auditorium with all those kids, there was not a sound. They were so caught up in the story and how it felt to be bullied. And you could hear once in a while somebody would go, oh, I'd never do that. But that was about the only thing you ever heard was somebody said, I would never do that. Yeah. So thanks to the Don't Be a Monster group, and they do go all over the country and do their shows. But we were so proud back in 2000, Oh, 17 years ago, I don't know. This yeah, would have been we were able to give a $2,000 check <laughs> yep. yes. from the proceeds <laughs> of our very right. first Monster Day. Remember we thought we'd get maybe like 500, 500 people to show up? <laughs> so we set this up, the very first one, we're like, okay, we're just going to do a Saturday night from 5 yeah. to 8. We're expecting like 500 people. We'll maybe. do a couple of little crafts out on the plaza. <laughs> yeah, we'll just have and, a little... <laughs> And, and we asked Aunt Helens to, and she made monster shakes. And, oh, and right. she had enough ready for 500 people. Yep. But what happened was, we got 6,000 people. <laughs> we got 6,000 people. Yay! <laughs> so it was a little crazy. Um, but it was super fun, and everybody had so much fun oh, that we're like, yep. we have to, this has to be an annual. It has to be an annual thing. <laughs> yeah. 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 We should yeah. talk about um, the gremlin. So when we started it, we decided that we needed a mascot. Like, it needed. Monster Day needed its own monster. Yeah. So, so this is the Greeley Gremlin. He, sometimes he goes by GG. Um, he was the very first mascot. And then what turned into a, a, another unplanned thing, because <laughs> nothing but unplanned things come out of Ed's right. brain, right. was that each year should have a new mascot. So the very next year was Chubby. Chubby, Chubby for Chupacabra. Right. Okay. And then the third year, it's Galaxy. Galaxy. <laughs> Galaxy is so cute. And introducing the brand new for 2020. Ta da! We have Fang. 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 With the bow on her hair. Yeah, she's so And her wings. Fang has Fang. wings. Nobody else does. <laughs> And this is one of our aliens. Alien just comes oh, with us to all our meetings. He, he's always with us. Sometimes he rides around in the car. No, he actually never had Okay, alien. so now we have to name the alien. alien yeah. <laughs> so 2020, you know, as we all know, it's just everything is different this year. We're having virtual, virtual Monster Day. So we're here to just kind of talk to you about how it all began. 
Yeah, and so that's our memories. That's it's our been memories. a fun trip. Yep. Too much fun. <laughs>Tristan is a huge Distortions fan. I've got the complete set of them. You mean still you own them? I still have them. Yes, sir. They, they kind of helped uh, determine who was going to be my future wife. <laughs> Many girlfriends saw those masks and ran, believe me. It's, uh, that's an interesting way of choosing a mate, the distortions yes, mask. Yes, it is. So you still have some of those nightmare masks, you're saying? I still have all of them. You mean you have a bunch of masks? I, my favorite mask that I have that that your company made was the Alien mask from the early 1980s. Which 80? Alien? It was uh, right out of this catalog. Uh, straight oh, No way. Wow. From the Geiger mold. You've got one of those? He has the Alien mask from the movie Alien that we made. Yes, sir. That's would rare. you like to sell that? I would never part with it. He was a teenager when he got it, and it just stuck with him, and it's a part of his childhood. They went to college with me. Uh, the, when I bought my first house, they were there with me. 
so why sell them now? If but I can't buy it from here, I know somebody that would. You know, I've had it since I was 12 years old. I'd never part with it. I think he may be a bigger fan than Jordu. Uh, 20th Century Fox was doing their promotions for the second Alien movie. They contacted me and tried to purchase it. Yeah. And 20th was Century no Fox. 20th Fox. Century Fox. And I would not part with the mask for any wow, price. Wow, how much they off you? Let's just say I could have bought a car. What kind of money are you talking? Over ten thousand. Uh, uh, I'd sell it. <laughs> well. And this guy's tough. He's strong. He wouldn't. He wouldn't sell. But if somebody offered me ten thousand dollars for a Halloween mask, it's like, you. How would you like this? Here's Marcia, she's very nice. When I was a child and my, my parents would ask us during the summertime, where would you like to go on vacation? I always said Greeley, Colorado. <laughs> oh, yay! You're the guy, I like yeah, that. Disneyland, I wanted to. Oh. See, forget Disneyland, honey. You are living the dream. It is amazing. I just wish you were as big a fan of me as he is of me. Now, wouldn't that be something? Think about how fun your life would be if I'd be you like so adored happy all the me time. as your hero. Woo. I like that. It's taken me over 30 years to get to meet you, but it's a, it's a great thrill. Well, listen, it is for me too. That is that is cool. Your lives have overlapped over the years, and then finally the roads cross and you meet, and that's kind of cool. I do question you not selling that for $10,000. I mean, you seem very normal. He was everything that I had hoped that he would be. Could I pass away before you? I'll leave it to you uh, as an inheritance item. Oh. Okay, hey, I need to have a conversation with you. No. <laughs> uh, no, now, listen. This time. Do you know anything about formaldehyde? I refuse to live in any city that would have us as residents. No, wait. Well, except Greeley. So, we love Greeley. They have put up with our monsters and mayhem for over 40 years. Okay, so for the next three minutes, we're going to go normal, and we're going to show you why we love Greeley. But then it's back to the spooky, icky, scary, nasty monsters!
This is the city that made it all happen. We struck a deal with the officials of the city of Greeley. If they let the monsters in, we promise that the gremlins won't mess up the city and Colossus won't eat the buildings. What is it, you sniveling, tiny people? What do you want? Do not make an enemy of me! Before this day is done, you will understand my mighty power! Some among you believe you can succeed. But you will be lost in the quagmire of desolation. Go on to the other side of darkness. You already know the end is near. Leave my presence, you cowardly fool! And now, Evil Edwin is going to attempt to paint 30 masks in 10 minutes. A feat that has never been attempted. He barely got 20 masks done in 10 minutes last time. But of course, this is the man who has probably made more monsters than anyone in the world. Okay, so now it's time for the Monster Day Speed Painting. I'm Twiddly D. I'm Twiddly Dumb. See, I set that up anyway. So a feature of Monster Day is a speed painting demonstration. We do this live on stage with super loud speakers, which we do have super loud speakers back there. And so um, the idea was to paint the first year 10 masks in 10 minutes. And so. I did that barely, and uh, that was cool. And so I thought, well, for next year, I'm gonna up the stakes and do 20 masks in 10 minutes. And barely made that, had some issues. But, did, and so then the next year I thought, well, what are you gonna do to top that? So, so we decided to have Tom help me. I got in an outfit completely blinded. He had, I had a hood and, and so forth. So uh, he had a hand on my back so I didn't fall off stage. And I painted 10 masks in 10 minutes, barely. And so I thought, well, I don't know, what now? So we decided we're gonna do 30 masks in 10 minutes. Now do the math on that. So that's the goal. Have you ever done 10 masks in 10 minutes? Or no, I have not. 20 masks in 10 minutes? No. How about two? Maybe two in an hour. Okay, so it's, but, you know, we've been doing this a, lot time, a long time, and we, we've learned to paint fast and so forth. So we're going to attempt this. It may not make it, so I just figured, what's the point in doing something that's I'm going to do, you know, that's already been done. So uh, hopefully we won't have any equipment problems, and I guess we'll get started. You ready, Tom? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Hit the music. All right.
Yep, we're still rolling. Well, Tom, we didn't quite make it. That's this close. Yeah, and it was really a gun failure. I'm not gonna blame myself, because I don't like to do that. You should blame whoever had to clean the airbrushes. Well, I, that was me. But, <laughs> anyway, metallics are always a little trick. But, we're close enough. Well, out. anyway, we'll try harder next time, but uh, thanks for watching, and, um, and we will see you soon. Anything else, Tom? Pandemonium and misery here in the paint room. That was so close. Now what's, what's happening to these masks? Um, uh, probably just sell them on. All right. Well, I'd love to buy one of these masks. Well, you know, it's kind of a keepsake, you know. All right. The gremlins have been all over town playing with their new friend, Fang.
Sometimes monsters are little and cute. Monster Kids. Hi everyone, this is Ed and Marcia. We're at Distortions Unlimited. And we're here to introduce you to some of our children. Uh, we've got Greeley, who was the first, uh, for, uh, for first at the Monster Day, and then his friend Chuby, and Galaxy came along, year three. And uh, Marsha, why don't you introduce our new friend? Year four is Fang, our newest little monster, and uh, she's happy to join you online. Sad, can't be downtown Greeley this year. She's just as cute as a bug's ear. And we also have monster kids. Now this was developed this year, and these are like toddler size. They're foam-filled latex with real clothes, and they are just adorable. And we have uh, Grimly, we have Wolfie, we've got Little Devil, Frankie, Finny, and Marty. Marty, which is very similar to this. And um, if that's not enough, we also have creepy kids, which are behind us. And they are creepy. Love the creepy kids. There's yeah. five of those guys. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a dysfunctional family of children, but but we love them and they love us and they love you and they're sorry they couldn't see you this year live, but uh, hopefully uh, next year and glad you could join us for Monster Day Online. That's right. Miss you guys. See you in downtown Greeley next year, 2021. Get to go to Monster Day? Mm, sorry, not this year. Huh? But you get to go. That's right. Great. So now you've got the big head. Look who's talking. But you can head on down to Monster Day. There's never been a day like Monster Day. Please? Nope. Part of the Monster Day experience every year has been a costume contest. This year, we're doing it online. Here are some of the contestants. Happy Monster Day. <laughs> Happy Monster Day! Virtual Monster Day is here! We're really sad that we're not all together, but we're gonna have fun with our virtual costume contest. Yeah, we've been, we've been shaming this up uh, all week, all month long, getting people to send in some pictures of some of their costumes, because every year we do a big costume contest on the stage at Monster Day, and it is one of my favorite parts, getting dressed up, of course. Brian always dresses <laughs> up. He looks amazing. If there's an excuse to dress <laughs> up, we're in. Yeah, so I'm Michelle. I'm Brian. And we are the behind the scenes people of the costume contest every year at Monster Race. So this year you actually get to see us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry too. <laughs> uh, but uh, one of the big things this year, some of the prizes we have. We have these. Finny. 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 Grimly. Grimly. Wolfie. And these are distortions and they're called Monster Kids and they have donated them for prizes this year. So you'll get one of these in the mail if you're one of the winners. Yeah, so stick around to find out who wins those. Uh, before we get to this year, should we take a look back just to reminisce on some of the costumes we've had in the past two years, three years? We have three years <laughs> three and we years have ago. had amazing costumes. Yes, I've been blown away by some of those works. So let's, let's take a peek at some of those.
we not tell you that those are amazing costumes? Every year people come and they've put so much work into these things, it just makes the event that much better. I know, I love doing the costume contest because I get to see them all up close when I'm lining people up because they're just amazing. <laughs> I feel like it's a sign of a good festival when people show up and take pictures of not just the stuff that is part of the festival, but the people that are there. Usually a good sign. Yeah, <laughs> makes the whole event fun. Yes. <laughs> so ahead of time, thank you all very much for everyone that participated. We obviously can't get 40 or 50 men, uh, entries for a virtual costume contest. But we've got some decent ones to show you. Some we'll of our judges decided prizes at the end, but uh, we're going to go through them all and uh, we're going to start with just our entries in a random order that we received them. So, first up here, we have uh, Fiona. This is Dr. Gory. This costume uh, was your average neurosurgeon until her brain rotted away and she later took up the title Experimental Brain Surgeon. Feasting on morgue scraps and whatever patients they'd given, uh, give her was no proper life for a zombie, so she went in search of conventions near you. <laughs> she went to conventions. The thing about this costume, like her eyes, man, if she was doing brain surgery on me, I'd be really scared. Yeah, the, the contacts add a lot to it. I, I really enjoy the, the, the guts sticking out too. Yeah, the guts are... It's, it's weird to have that conversation, but the <laughs> intestines have a nice sheen to them. <laughs> <laughs> nice costume, nice work. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> um, I have Tori Rogers as Greta Gremlin. And she, her, she has an Instagram, it's Tacti Divas, T-A-C-T-I Diva. And she's uh, done kind of a play on our gremlin. And she's got the ears and um, cool facial stuff. Really I, cool. I just saw part of this, I think it was a year or two ago she was here and I saw her with just the ears and I think mm -hmm. she had a little one with her. And, uh, absolutely brilliant makeup going on there. Yes, very, very <laughs> nice costume, Tori. <laughs> All right, next up we have uh, one of our young entries. Uh, this is Maribel and, she, I, oh, sorry, that's not him, that's, that's his mom's name. And it's her son. <laughs> into the costume contest. Uh, his name is Roman, seven years old, and his costume is The Rake. The Rake. The now, Rake looks pretty scary. Now just imagine a nice fall <laughs> evening and you see this little character creeping through your backyard. Yeah, like around the leaf pile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have nightmares just thinking about that now. <laughs> so nice job on the scary costume. <laughs> very good, very, very good, Roman, very good. <laughs> Okay, the next one that I have is um, by Michael Garcia, and it's The Fly. And he looks like The Fly. And he's got something wrong with one of these arms. He's starting to mutate a little bit in this costume. Just a smidge. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I think he was a scientist to start with, though. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> My question on that one, with the facial prosthetics, is how he breathes in that. <laughs> yeah, how you get it on and how you breathe. It's a feat of Ooh. engineering right there. <laughs> very cool, very cool. Very cool. Uh, another one we have coming up here. This one looks very intricate. I don't know if I have the handiwork to pull this one off. Uh, her name is Zoe, and the character is the plague from the Dead by Daylight video game. That is such an intricate costume. All of the the head work on that that that's amazing to me. I walked around with like a set of horns, and it was a pain. This this entire crown. I don't think I could make it through a doorway. <laughs> nor could I make those little details that are on there. It's a nice costume. <laughs> Very, very nice work, very nice work. <laughs> okay, I have Igor from Young Frankenstein. This is Bentley McNeil and he is seven years old and he even has an abnormal brain. I love that, because I love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Describe what an abnormal brain is for everybody if, it, if they're not looking close here. Oh, well, in the movie, they, they send him out to get a brain and he gets the one who he thinks is a girl named Abby Normal. That it was the abnormal one. I just want to think is that I love those references, but some people hear that they're like, "What are you talking, what are you about? talking about?" I'm sure because the crowd that's at Monster Day probably on on par, but just want to make sure if, we're including if everybody. If you want to know, see the movie Young Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> but that is a, a very, very, yes. very fun. Thank costume. you, Bentley. That's fun. <laughs> uh, next up, we have one that I, I don't want to go to a corn maze anymore. Uh, but this is uh, Doug Schaefer, and it's the Cob Goblin Scarecrow. Uh, he's got an Instagram at uh, artguy79, but the details on this mask are exquisite. They're phenomenal. If you slightly keep... terrifying. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's terrifying. I don't want to meet him anywhere, <laughs> anywhere. With lots of lots of lights on and maybe a <laughs> corn stabby things in my yeah, hands. Just no corn fields for me. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool costume, though. Very cool. Very nice. Uh, next, I have a, a group. This is a group of clowns. Yeah. Everybody's these are the... favorite clowns. <laughs> this is Megan Trujillo and her friends. And these are the killer clowns not from outer space. Sorry, Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> so 
<laughs> they are uh, earth clowns, I guess. But yeah, nice costumes. I don't like clowns. I'd honestly rather take the scarecrow than the clowns. I hate clowns. <laughs> clowns. Clowns don't bother me as much. These clowns, <laughs> These clowns scared, are scary. But not just because they're clowns. They're just creepy looking. They're just creepy clowns. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and for some reason, I think when clowns, you get groups of them together, it adds that mystique. Some creatures yes. on their own, it's creepier clowns, groups of clowns. A little unnerving. Like a half of them. Uh, last one I have on my list is uh, a giant, giant costume here by David Leeper. Uh, his Instagram is at Sirkel the Dark Warrior Cosplay. He's looking forward to Godzilla vs. King Kong coming out this year. Good monster movie series. Tribal Kong. Now, Tribal imagine trying to walk on those. Those are not real arms, those are prosthetic arms. He's yeah. both put on top of the front there. Trying It'll to walk like that? Add to the mystique and yeah. probably hurt if he clubbed somebody with it too if anyone was in a Godzilla costume. Just Nicely done costume though. That was a ton of work to put that together. Mm -hmm. Very well done. Very well done. <laughs> Very well done. Um, so I have next, I have um, Alexis Jaramillo and the costume name is the Spirit of Halloween. And I love this one. I think it's just really, really adorable. It's a, it is made from Eva foam, acrylic paint fabric and floral foam. And the costume is completely handmade and the bone details are hand sewn. Really nice job, Alexis. Very nice. It is adorable. How, how you can use the words adorable with a skeleton black cat, you, you've done good. I thought it was adorable. <laughs> but I like cats, not clowns, so we're okay. And I have one of Brian's sheets, so I'm gonna hand you oh, that one. Look at one. that, we <laughs> have more sheets there. I wasn't done. Uh, the next one we have Pumpkin Patched. This one uh, is by Alex, and you can see a nice pumpkin head costume on there. It looks almost like it could be a yard decoration that might terrify you, it might steal your candy. <laughs> True. Could would, you imagine if that you thought it was just a pumpkin on the porch <laughs> and then it walked towards you? <laughs> well, the thing I like most is the little green top hat the pumpkin has. Like. Yes, that, that's a nice detail. I like the leaves too on it. Those are neat. <laughs> um, I have next America Zamora and her costume is Zombie Nurse and her Instagram is Amika204. A-M-I-K-K-A-204. And She's definitely not the nurse I want to work on me. <laughs> her face, though, she's been through a lot. She looks like she could see a nurse herself, maybe. Yes, she might need she might need the doctor, but I think he turned into a fly. <laughs> so, although the first girl was a maybe, brain surgeon. Maybe the claw was going on during the middle. I mean, it was I, I don't know. <laughs> very nice makeup, very nice very makeup. Very nice makeup. Uh, next up, I have Riley all the way from Marysville, Washington. Uh, she's 13 year old, years old, and she created the devil herself. Yeah. Got the tail, got the claws, and the matching feet, and the face. You look closely on the eyes and the scars on there. It's it's a pretty impressive little costume. There. Yeah, it's I, really I like nicely it. done. Very mm -hmm. nicely done. I like it a lot. Well, that was great. We had really good entries this year from all over America. Yes, it not was... just here with Greeley Monster Day, but it's spreading. Every year we, we're yeah. ecstatic because we find out people that come from cities and states far away and maybe even further than that now. Uh, so it's good to see that there's some people that are ch jumping on board of the costume contest. So thank you all very much. You did yes. some amazing work. We can't pick winners forever. We can't pick you all as winners. We wish we'd like to. to. We love the prizes, <laughs> but that's how it works. And it's tough to judge costumes on just pictures alone. So if you put a lot of hard work in it and you don't win, just know your costume is still really cool. And come to Monster Day next year with mm -hmm. it. Yes. <laughs> and everybody, if you want to do them a favor, you can go to our Facebook page and our website. We'll have the pictures posted from the contest. Post them up on Facebook. You can find them and then give them kudos for all the hard work they put on, too. I'm yeah. sure they'd appreciate it. This was super fun. We're so appreciative that you all participated. And thank you. We're going to go do some deliberating. We'll be back. Yes, we're going to get our old panel of judges, figure out a winner. We'll be back. And we're back. We're back. Our judges spent quite a bit of time thinking about this. It's always one of the hardest parts <laughs> of these contests. We had, we had our panel of judges that were probably arguing and still arguing about who should <laughs> be our top prizes. But again, all amazing costumes and some of our judges got nothing more than a glance at some of these pictures. So yeah, congratulations to everyone all around. And yes, congratulations <laughs> to all of the entrants because they were all amazing. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we're gonna name the top four 
and uh, then we'll uh, you'll be getting something in the mail from us. We'll yes, be these, messaging these are some you. Surprises! We'll get the message and your address. <laughs> something exciting will be showing up you'll at your surprise. front door. And if it does, then uh, you know, let us know. Tag us on Instagram or Facebook and show it off when you do get it. It'll be a good time. Yeah, let us know which ones you get because it's <laughs> going to be a surprise. <laughs> All, All right, right. you doing yours first? Yep. So our first top costume contest winner is. Zoe with the plague from Dead by Daylight with that amazing headpiece and all of the detail on the costume. Nice job, Zoe. Very good, very good. Our second winner for this year for the 2020 Monster Day Virtual Contest, Dr. Gory. Yes, yeah. Fiona, this top to bottom, <laughs> uh, I, you should be on the set of a zombie movie for it and yeah, it's very, very well done. To, to mold all that and create all oh, that was an amazing costume. Congratulations. <laughs> the next one is David Lieber with Tribal Kong, with the whole outfit. <laughs> and having to walk that way. <laughs> we want to see a video. A plus for effort on walking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and our final winner for this year's contest uh, goes to Cobb Goblin the Scarecrow, Mr. Doug Schaefer. This yes. creepy is all the get out corn cob one. mask. Uh, <laughs> this is another one you see a video of him talking, I'm sure, is even creepier, but yeah. some of the best ones again. Lots of great costumes here, but congratulations to all four of our winners. Yes. Uh, this has been wonderful, and I, I can't wait till next year because we have to do it bigger and better again, and next year we can do it in person, fingers crossed, hopefully. Yes have the, the biggest and best monster day yet. <laughs> It'll be amazing. And thank you for joining us today for Virtual Monster Day. Yeah, and stick around. There's plenty more stuff coming. If you didn't get on the contest and you still have a monster costume, show it to us. Jump on the Facebook page, jump on Instagram, go through your old photos and share some of your monster photos. Because what's yes. what's the point of Monster Day? It's to celebrate everything monster, right? Yep. Ta just tag us on Instagram or, or send us a message and we'll post them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Lo love to reshare stuff like that. Yep. And uh, of course, we should probably hit up what the whole event's about too, right? But Monster Day is a little bit of a charity event too for Don't Be a Monster. Don't Be a Monster. The reason why they're uh, trying to do anti-bullying campaigns in schools and whatnot. We've seen it live and it is an amazing program and it really touches the lives of kids. It's mm. it's really great. We're, I 100% believe in what we're doing here. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So make sure you donate. There's maybe, there's a donate button on our Facebook page. I know that. Mm -hmm. And on the website. So Don't Be a Monster. That's who we're benefiting. So all of you that entered costumes, thank you for participating. We had a lot of fun here. Yeah. This was great. And we'll see you next year. Good luck. Congratulations. See ya. Actually, Woody, you're doomed because you're not going to Monster yeah. Day this year. Last year, he took advantage of Open Cup and he got a little bit trunk. Hi, I'm Ed Edmonds, and on this episode of Monster Lab, we're going to show you how to sculpt a face mask that custom fits your face exactly. And then as the series goes on, we're going to show you how to make this. Dude, back off. I'm keeping my brain. Anyway, no! no. Here we go. And a safety note with scissors. Never do this with your scissors. Ah!
and it's like it's gone. It's absolutely there's. It's gone. You can't. You can't fix that. You so, should be paying us, dude. Uh, yeah, no kidding. Having. Yeah. I don't know why you're charging. Yeah, I got That's to sculpt crazy. a giant werewolf. I should. Uh -huh. Yeah, it should be the other way around. I should be paying you. That's Ooh. right. What do you think you should pay us for a piece like this? Oh, probably five hundred dollars <laughs> for a piece like that oh, for all that joy. But Tom, could you step aside? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Give you a promo video. So I'm just finishing up my werewolf design, and uh, as you can see, I've done an exceptional job on the large and small anatomy. He lies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. We're done. Oh, we're out of here. I think we're done. Let me just make sure this is truly recording. It sure appears to be. Yep. Well, that was a lot of fun, wasn't oh, it? Oh, geez. Oh, yeah. Listen, you can't. You can't make that kind of magic without <laughs> suffering. <laughs> the magic, the magic happened. It was heavenly. Heavenly. We had a hell of a good time. Sorry. If I was Picasso, I'd be done. All right. The third thing is, is it's for a thing called group. <laughs> Leonard Nimoy, you know, most actors make mistakes and stuff. He would get furious at himself. He would just get really mad when he made a mistake. And he was so good, you know. It to play a character like that, that's got to be so intelligent, right on cue, and never make a mistake. He, he really was something. And I'm not. Oh, sorry, you should have got the last one. So uh, I've gone and hurt myself a little, and uh, so I'm gonna have to go to the doctor. But I'll be right back. It, I, I'm, I'll be fine. Got a little stitches, maybe. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm not gonna go to the doctor. I just I, mean, I found if I put the glove on it, it kind of well, it just it's a little weird. But but it, it'll be fine. I'll be fine. Just kidding. Listen, I'm just. In case there's any kids watching, I got all my fingers. I just uh, couldn't resist. Go next since you're ready. Okay, Mike. You, but you. <laughs> you're upsetting him. He literally doesn't like that. <laughs> so, oh no, wait a minute. You haven't stuck your hand into the horse's butt. No, no, wait a minute. I think you need to put your hand in there. You'll notice that. Um, I scoped his cheeks, and uh, but I wrecked them. No. Oh, you actually got that. You know, I've been waiting all morning. All right, here you go. Hit the hit the button, Mike. Go ahead. Stick your hand in there. Oh. So, I was thinking you guys are going to be dressed in clothes you like, and so. It wouldn't be very good, especially if this is slimy, if you had to like, you know, get in there and stuff, like feed it in from the, you know, the, uh, whatever you call it, I think. And then uh, trying to grow, grow up a little. Um, so you just, you just put your stuff in. If you need more slime, if you want slime, we should write your phone number right here. <laughs> no, no, listen, Mike. You need to take one for the team because you know you know what it's like when you're at a trade show. Yeah. yeah. Your well, cell we phone. Do that. Is that all right? Yeah, that is. All right, true. let's do that. And um, you guys have any other questions? It's pretty simple. Yes. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's.
could be anything, any little creature, your dog, your grandmother, a little puppy, your grandmother, wouldn't that be cute? Anyway, um, have fun with this. And if you like this series, be sure and click the subscribe button and the like button if you nice. No, stupid. Uh, okay. <laughs> Oh, you got him on a gurney. There you go. There he is. Just for you. Poor <laughs> fella. Well, now I don't smell anything bad. I give it a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so tell me, Jesse. Um, prior to the, him soaking up your blood and water and stuff, how were, how were the police responding to? Uh, coming across this guy who is oozing and squirting blood. All of his wounds are excellent. Everything that the students are seeing on him, they love. They're able to take care of him, place tourniquets on him, and pack his wounds and uh, talk us through other treatments that they would do with him. So it's been excellent. Has anybody been kind of freaked out a little bit by, uh, by the dude not being plastic? Everybody, the first time they touch him and they feel that he's squishy and not hard plastic, they're... They're startled at first, especially just with the way he looks in general. So. Cool. <laughs> Don't blink or you'll miss it. All right, go ahead. Here we go. Give, give me, give me some, uh, some taps. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 <sighs> so sad. Goodbye, friend. Yes. <laughs> oh. 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 One piece. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, we're ready for you. So there you have it, an extraterrestrial zombie flesh with no airbrush, no quartz sprayer, but it's a, still a very elaborate paint job. And uh, he's coming to your town to eat your brain. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Brains, <laughs> brains. Trying to paint a room of 60 grandmas. Ow.
man, I need rock and roll. So I've got these speakers. Trust me, they're loud. We've got uh, big subs and stuff. Makes, makes it fun, especially if you like good music. Now, if you don't like good music, Mm, I, you have my pity. Now, now listen, monsters, for whatever reason, they do not like improvisational jazz or country western. Otherwise, you're okay. My pupils. And that's what it's telling me. So I'm going to have to listen to that, even though I don't like it. It seems a little weird. The positioning's weird. But it's, let's see, maybe I'm too far back. No, that's actually worse. All right, so here's my brow. Let's do the look. So I'm going to take Dead Ed for a little night on the town, and we'll see you there. screw up front here make life a little easier hopefully Poke your eyes out, guys. I just scared the cameraman. She's got her eyes. She's beautiful. And now, my favorite part. Gonna blood her up. Okay, so that's a good looking ghoul. And we're gonna let her dry a little bit and she is ready to go. You knew the job was dangerous when you took it. Be sure and subscribe. So that was fun, right guys? Had a good time, right? Yeah, they had a good time. So uh, we'll see you next time and uh, have fun making monsters. Well, you, you just follow the horse's head and you'll be fine. Okay, well, <laughs> I can't even see that. You don't have to see it. It won't be the same.
A huge part of Monster Day every year is Don't Be a Monster. It is a fantastic organization that deals with bullying, and we don't like bullying. We support them here at Monster Day. Check them out. So sixth grade was my first time having to ride the bus. I thought I'd figured out this plan. I'll sit in the back. It felt like I would be out of the way. Every stop after that, bigger and older kids got on and made it their Monday morning activity to ruin my day. My name's Erin Kelly. I'm the program manager for Don't Be a Monster. I don't remember meeting teachers that first day. I don't remember making new friends that first day. I remember thinking of a new plan, a better plan for getting home. Forget the back, the back of the bus is bad. That was a bad plan. The front, the front of the bus was gonna be safer. And I sat directly behind the bus driver, it's extra support. Um, those same kids got on the bus, immediately picked me up by my arms and drug me limply to the back of the bus to make sure they ruined my night as well. Uh, that was the start of me hating going to school in middle school. Don't Be a Monster is made up of a team of individuals that in one way or another have experienced bullying throughout their life um, and have made it their personal mission to have an impact on this, this epidemic. Don't Be a Monster delivers simple, accessible tools for kids to be each other's support system. I wanna make sure that kids know they don't have to sit quietly and suffer through school. They don't have to be afraid to be friends with each other. They don't have to be afraid to be there for each other. It only takes one person to make a difference in someone else's life, and you can be that one person. This is Frank. Frank is different from the other students. Some people call him a monster. But there are far more real monsters than Frank at this school. Say something? If you got something to say, say it on my face, punk. What a loser. You gonna cry like a baby? Go cry to your mama. Stop being such a wuss. What is your problem, freak? 
Leave him alone. Frank, are you all right? Look, guys, Frank's got a girlfriend. <laughs> you, you guys need to grow up. You got lucky this time, ugly. Are you all right, Frank? They're just being bullies. Don't let them get you down. Well, I'll catch you around. She chose not to be a monster. She was the first one who chose to stand up for Frank, even though she was outnumbered. But Frank is about to learn that the real monsters at this school come in all shapes and sizes. Did you see those rags Frank's wearing? It looks like he shops out of the bargain bin at the thrift store. I wouldn't be caught dead wearing those clothes to school. What are you doing? This is our table, you can't sit here. Take your filth and go back where you came from, freak. He stinks. Maybe he's homeless. Maybe that's why he smells so bad. No one wants you here, loser. Hey, Frank. Thanks for saving me a seat, buddy. Oh, uh, would you like to join us? Hey, Frank, listen. Don't let them get you down. I mean, they think they're above you and all, but they're not. It's actually kind of pathetic. But hey, listen, you'll be all right. I'll catch you around. Another has chosen not to be a monster and to stand up for Frank. But the real monsters are determined and don't care how much pain they cause him. They are set on turning Frank into a monster himself. Look, there's the dork. What a loser. You gonna go cry into your mama? No one wants you here, loser. Take your filth and go back where you came from, freak. Frank. Frank, man, we've been looking all over for you. Are you okay? Frank, I'm so sorry about what they wrote. That was so not cool. But they're just bullies. They're the monsters. Hey, Freak! <laughs> Ever played before? What are you doing? This is our table, you can't sit here. What do y'all say we get out of here? Maybe hang out? Maybe catch a scary movie? Sounds good to me. What do you say, Frank? They chose to stand up against bullying. And in the end, they showed their school that no one is born a monster. It's a choice that each and every one of us has to make.
The Wild Weird West at Monster Day. and medical adhesive. You ready to go down in front of all these fine folks? Oh, keep rolling your eyes. Maybe you'll find a brain back there. That's pretty big talk for an old hose dragger like you. You're so ugly when your mom dropped you off at school, she got a ticket for littering. Say your prayers, Grandpa. You know, I'm jealous of people who don't know you. Let's do this. Because 15 minutes is definitely not enough oh, time to yeah, do that's it. Right. <laughs> and then this, this is what we commonly refer to as a sketch. <laughs> All right, let's start with the uh, fish, fish sculpture. <laughs> what is it? What is his name? <laughs> All right, wait one more time. I think three, two, one, fish sculpture. So, should we try again? Alright. 
Fish fan. Space Monster Live Patch. On this edition of Monster Lab, we're going to teach you how to make this. Sound good? Hit subscribe and come along. Here we go. So we decided to film this today because I am doing a cute little gremlin. And I don't normally do cute. I'm not very good at it. The other thing is, it's a two-piece mold, which is very helpful if you're doing something that's completely 3D and, and it's got big ears or something. You need to know that. The third reason is, it's for a thing called Monster Day. We're gonna start in downtown Greeley, and it's a day to celebrate monsters. We're kinda hoping that'll catch on. So here we go. This is our character. Isn't he sweet? Hi, my name is Andy Wright, and this is my wife, Linda Gale Wright, and we are the creators and owners of Makeup and Creative Arts, LLC, and MorphStore.com. Makeup and Creative Arts specializes in creating a wide range of designs, original and custom special effects makeup, masks, props, and on-set application services. We cater to all types of production, from television and movies, corporate and private events, the haunt industry, and commissions. In addition to all that we provide to the production industry, Makeup and Creative Arts is the exclusive company that creates everything for MorphStore.com. There you can find a wide variety of items to help you transform your look. Whether you need something created for a convention, commercial, an icon character, TV or film, or if you desire to take your costume or cosplay to that next level, our team at Makeup and Creative Arts LLC can make that a reality. You can see and learn more about what we can offer by visiting www.makeupca.com and www.morphstore.com. We would love to hear from you. Please feel free to contact us at info at morphstore.com or info at makeupca.com. Gather up your friends and your family, there's good times for one and all. Let's make some memories and celebrate this fall. A family tradition for generations. The Anderson Farms Fall Festival is now open through Halloween. Plan your visit at andersonfarms.com. A family tradition, Anderson. Anderson Farms. So we've got all kinds of monsters at Monster Day. 
You never know who's going to show up. Dragon breath. You've suffered relentlessly for over two years making all those monsters of the months. You could have been sitting on a beach somewhere. Don't listen to him. Month Monster Day. Day. Beautiful experience that will live on through eternity. Really? Don't believe a word Miss Goody Two Shoes says. Monster was nothing but a flash in the pan. No! Just hunks of rubber. It's art. It's an emotional experience. There you go. Stay as cool as you can. It riles him to know that you see the truth. What's your name? Never mind that. Just keep making those monsters. Ooh, I've got to go. Yeah, but... I don't have your number, as they say. What if I need you? Well, you can get lost now. I'll see you later. Doubtful. Monsters! <laughs> Hi there, monster lovers. Thank you so much for being a part of Monster Day. And thank you to all our great artists and Distortions crew. Oh yeah, we all suffered. And you know, actually, it was a lot of fun. And uh, after all these years, that was really, really fun. It was heavenly. Heavenly. We had a hell of a good time. Sorry. Anyway, keep watching. God bless you guys. Bye.
This is so bad. This is so No, no, boring. this is fantastic. This is so... Yeah, you, you remember... Uh, this is so cheap. American cheesy. movie? Here we go. It is. It's there American you go. movie. Hey, so Wiggles, think you'll make it to Monstre this year? No, not this year. Wrong answer. <laughs> Stop doing that. You coming? I guess. Monster Day. <laughs> Monster Day.
can't touch me! Stand back! No! What do you think about this, Mom? Oh, yeah, it's crazy. And blindfolded. I made some
is a luxury you do not have. Three minutes.
Hi, Monster Day is coming up soon, and we have some very nice monsters. Like this guy. You know, the purple guy's friend. He loves you. Aww. You taste like chicken. Monster Day. So the guys from Distortions made this guy. Check out Usti from Star Trek Continues. Okay, 
How about some fast photos? Watch this. scary in there because of all the monsters so we installed this door knocker and so here's my plan we're gonna give it a little knock and then the monsters can kind of get out of the way so we won't get attacked okay okay we're coming in don't eat us Yay! Okay, <laughs> so look guys, that didn't quite work didn't out. didn't work! But, we'll give you a brain check on that one. <laughs> Bye! Bye-bye!
them on. Oh, really? Yeah. Now how long have you been doing this? Oh, God, since the early 60s. What's that, 50 years? Wow. And I started with the Frankenstein monster, and then right. the Dracula. Mm -hmm. And finally, I had a yard full, and I have to get a couple of cops to come and handle the traffic. Uh -huh. And in those days, you know, you, you couldn't buy anything like yeah. this. Yeah. I mean, so when I saw you own. guys, I thought, whoa. Monsters. You know, I, yeah. I, that's, I, that's cool yeah. to me that you like monsters. I mean, you grab that, we'll grab up here, and we'll go up. Oh, well, thanks for the warning. Wow, that was easy on this end. Yeah. Real terror. Listen, if I fall, don't catch me because then two people will die. Uh-oh. You're going to put, put it back. A little more? That's no? pretty close. Yeah, that's good. Then you don't have to close. Okay. All right. Oh, that is sensational. I'm <laughs> glad you like Woo! it. Go ahead, Mike, hit the button. We see you have arrived. I hope fear is something you enjoy. <laughs> Enter through the gate of dreaded darkness. Say your prayers. <laughs> there you go. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that remarkable what that thing does? That's going to be fun. a sensation. And, oh my and, God. and apparently you've got some neighborhood kids here. We're going to test the Oh, we want to test it on them? Well, we are in front of Mr. Monster. Come right close. You are the first to see this monster. Come right here. There you go. I hope fear is something you enjoy. Enter through the gate. Say your prayers. It's always theory until it works, you know. I see you have arrived. I hope fear is something you enjoy. Enter through the gate of dreaded darkness. Say your prayers. <laughs> I think that I think it's going to be a sensation. I mean, it's colossal. I just yeah. can't believe it. Well, see, that's the thing. They're focused on the thing, and they don't expect somebody to come out. No. Of chest. You know? Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> okay. People huh. go around trick or treating. They all end up back here. Yeah, right. And it's just a big crowd standing nice. up. Nice. <laughs> oh, that is so. That's awesome. great that you do that. That's so neat. I well, I've been here 26 it. years, and I only missed one year when we were remodeling. I wasn't here. Unbelievable. Every year. Unbelievable. And, and the kids are really rough critics. They say, you had that last year. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, man, that's tough. Yeah, kids. I don't think we were ever really scared anybody enough to be traumatized. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, no. The kids will scream and everything, but yeah, they, yeah. they love it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Walt Disney said the secret to children's entertainment is kids like to be scared. Oh, is that they right? They like to be Walt given Disney goosebumps. Walt said that. Walt. I Whoa. did not know that. He said, well, I always had a witch. Or an evil queen, or somebody like that. He says kids love to be scared. That's funny. Yeah. I, I, I That's did not true. realize he said because his stuff's Yeah, well, he was friendly, a big kid himself. Yeah, yeah. Huh. <laughs> that's why we got along so well. Oh, that's great. <laughs> ha! Dick, I'm glad you like it. Oh, it's, I love uh, it. I, I can't thank, thank you enough. Thank you. I mean, this is like a Halloween dream. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you enough I'm for ordering. Away. Yeah. <laughs> that was going to be fun. the biggest one ever. Uh, and you're invited. Uh, Don't forget. Uh, yeah, we're coming. Two, three. <laughs> so Distortions had a television show called Making Monsters for three years. We thought you might enjoy seeing a few clips from the show.
Okay. <laughs> You're thinking, why am I working with this person? You should be in some sort of a hospital. <laughs> You're losing your mind! I am! <laughs> Sculpture's so big, we can't figure it out! <laughs> Just nervous about something going wrong. One of these lifts coming down. Hey, Ed, is this a good time to maybe ask you for a raise? You're gonna get one right now. Go on up. Yeah. I'm concerned is in this cherry picker, and the cable is going to snap and fall. I just think about these things and hope they won't happen. Can you reach that okay? Oh! Oh! into that skeleton house. And Alice Cooper walks in, and I was a little bit nervous. They didn't like the box, and I was a little worried they wouldn't like the Frank and Alice either. No, I like a little it. little wounded, but I, yeah, I look <laughs> real wounded. <laughs> I was really impressed when I saw it. I went, that's actually scary. Look at that. Nicer? Oh, yeah. Awesome. That's yeah. bad. Yeah. This is so much better. If they weren't here, I'd be down there right now going, OK, how do we, are we going to do this? You have a little time, I think. A little bit. Now we can just say, just call up distortions. They'll know how to do it. I'm like having uh, panic attacks thinking yeah. about this. We might get this tonight. Lift up and huh. stands away, and the monster is alive. All right, let's rock. Let's hey. rock. <laughs> let's rock. Let's rock. <laughs> When Frank and Alice came out. Just yeah. Then the crowd went wild. That was yeah. quite a payoff. <laughs> that the mouth chomps and the head turns side to side. And the actor is hanging on to a giant arm. And the demon is like, I, 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 you know, eating the actor. <laughs> Just a little horny. Let's just move you aside. All right. All right, Mikey. Looks good. Thanks. That's some of your breast work. Yep. You know, we need to raise the bar on this product. I mean, normally, Ed has puns of steel. You like sculpting the pig? Yes. Good. I was afraid it'd be a boar. I would love to, but I have important matters to attend to. Important matters? Important. Get it? Important. Important. I, I'll be bacon puns for the rest of... Um, but I'm such a ham. Oh, Jordu, that's enough. These are no worse than your crappy puns all day. Yeah, but I'm a professional. I've been doing it for years. When it comes to puns, Jordu's not real good. He's funny in different ways. He's not a punster. Gotta hand it to you. You're doing a good job. Is that a pun? Are you trying to be a pun See, master? See, normally when you sculpt, I think you're all thumbs, but... Two in a row. You've been over there practicing, haven't you? You get back here right now and fix that, or I'm gonna pun you to death. Go back to your zombie head. Don't you have some earlobes to work on or something? Oh, but those will take me years to sculpt. Years to sculpt? 
far but as I like that you sculpt such big things, you know, because it, you really take risks. With the... Is a hey pun man. coming? That was the pun. You take risks, risks. Oh, that's no good. Oh, no, 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 I Lava You was genius, you know? I Lava You was fantastic. I am the volcano god. I Lava You. And look here. Oh, you guys, that's cool. <laughs> oh, game now, you, know, you had those numbers written before you heard that. You know, a good magician never shows you how he does his tricks. We're not good magicians. We're bad monster makers. Watch this. We were working on some stuff today and I thought, you know, this would be a good opportunity to go over Shock and Awe because people are confused by this product. Now, Shock and Awe is an illusion that's very, very impressive and people don't understand how it works. So if you're in the haunt business and you're trying to figure out um, if this is going to work for you, we want to show you just how simple this thing is. It's basically a body that has a pneumatic that moves it, and the actress puts her head in there and she sits. The, it's just a super simple concept, but it's a powerful illusion. Come on back here, I'll show you how this thing works. So there's an ambient sound that always plays, and the actress gets in here and she can adjust this to the eye she wants. There's numerous adjustments. Now this uh, also comes with a, a mask and a costume so that um, a person can be there with her and, and they're actually the one that's interacting with the crowd. And then their hands come out here. Okay, Miss Ed. Hey, listen, this is no way to get back at me for all those arguments you lost. To get you. Ah! Ha, ha, ha. Oh, that's a sinister knife. <laughs> it's a plastic knife, just so you know. It's not a real knife. I gotta go to the doctor. <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> So I hear you want to come to Monster Day. Well, that ain't happening. Now, what? I don't want to hear any excuses. Listen, ever since you ate Cincinnati, the city wants nothing to do with you coming to Monster Day. Anyway, oh, put your belly aching. Anyway, he may not be able to go to Monster Day, but you can go to Monster Day. Hope to see you there. Okay guys, okay, I know, I'm sorry, but we really, really have to do this. It's time for bad monster jokes. Now we all know that Albert Einstein was a genius, but his brother Frank was a monster. Did you hear about the monster who ate too many houses? Now he's homesick. Why did the zombie stay home from school? He felt rotten. Why did King Kong climb the Empire State Building? Because he couldn't fit in the elevator. 
Do mummies enjoy being mummies? Of corpse! <laughs> what did one pyramid say to the other pyramid? How's your mummy? When do zombies eat breakfast? As soon as they catch you. What happens when a witch breaks the sound barrier? You hear a sonic BOOM! <laughs> Maybe something crazy going on in the Moxie. Those long hairs, they love the Moxie. Boy, there are a lot of people here. Maybe they're here for Monster Day. That'd be my guess. You know, I've noticed that Greedy's really grown. Yeah. Huh. Are you ready for this? Look, over there! So I asked Distortions, what's the biggest monster you've ever made? They told me it was the creature. So it turns out the creature is 155 feet long, two and a half stories high. You walk in through the mouth and get pooped out the butt. I'm Jim Larson from Forest View Farms in Tinley Park. We had fantastic news coverage. 150 feet long, 35 feet wide, 25 feet high. But until they see it, that means nothing to them. Once they see it, same thing out of their mouths. And these were newspaper people. Awesome. And they wanted to do a story on it. <laughs> come out of the tail there uh, it's a, just a great time just to kind of sit back and and watch their uh, expression coming back most of them either holding their heart laughing they're bending over some are falling down it's a it's a great time going through the beast at night 
Uh, it's a great time watching the, the, the uh, customers come through and have a great time. Don't become monster poop. <laughs> so, do you like watching people wet themselves? Watch this.
Greeley is a wonderful place to live and raise monsters. Let me show you what I mean. Hi everybody, it's awesome to be able to introduce you to the newest member of our family, Fang, um, and this year's Monster Day. We hope you can join us, at least digitally online, and uh, we have so many great partners, so thanks for being part of it. There's never been a day like Monster Day. Well, Tom, it looks good. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> he was a whole lot of fun. Yeah. You so, should be paying us, dude. Uh, yeah, for all the really, no kidding. Having. Yeah. I don't know why you're trying. Yeah, I got to sculpt crazy. a giant werewolf. I should, uh -huh. yeah, it should be the other way around. I should be paying you. That's Ooh. right. What do you think you should pay us for a piece like this? Oh. Probably $500 uh -huh. for a piece like that oh. for all that joy. If, we, if he was zombie gray with a black <laughs> rub out and gray fur, he would look fantastic. He, he needs like more input. Tom, could you step aside? Yes, yes, absolutely. Do a promo video. So I'm just finishing up my werewolf design, and uh, as you can see, I've done an exceptional job on the large and small anatomy. He lies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tom, he's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. He was, and he was a fun, fun sculpture. Making monsters is hard work. This is what a day in the paint room looks like.
Do you like Babe the Pig? This is not Babe. <laughs> Monster Day is a little like Woodstock for monsters. Hey, everybody in Greeley, Colorado. Hello. How are you? Welcome to Monster Day Live to the World. Uh, my name is Andy Wright, and my company is Makeup and Creative Arts. And also, we had a booth at Greeley the past three years that was the MorphStore.com booth. We are coming to you from Apopka, Florida, here in our shop. And we'll go down the line. Like I said, I'm Andy Wright, and this is... Linda Gale Wright. Dana Bracewell. Liam Alamo. So what we are going to do today for you guys is we are going to kind of take you behind the scenes to some of the things that we do, take you through some of the steps in the process on how we apply certain looks. We're going to do some prosthetic things. We're also going to do some like wounds, but uh, I want to give a special thanks to the entire staff of the event. Uh, we've got Allison and Amy, Sarah, Michelle, Brian, and Karen who have painstakingly taken their time to put this whole thing together. Also Ed and Marsha, who it's their fault for why we're here. Um, but we love them over at Distortions Unlimited. They're, they're an extended family. So we're happy to be able to put something together for you guys for this year's uh, Live to the World Monster Day. So we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves going. And as soon as we've got some stuff to show you guys, we'll go ahead and cut back in and show you what we've got. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so today I'm gonna be applying a prosthetic to my beautiful wife. Linda Gale Wright. And what we're gonna to use today is one of our prosthetics we have on morphstore.com, which is the Hellsung Bat Face. Now this is uh, one that we pulled out of a bin that we call seconds and thirds. Now what that means is sometimes a piece comes out and it's not exactly flawless like you want it to be. There might be like an air bubble or a little collapsed area or something in it that isn't quite perfect. So I wanted to show you guys that you can still use them. Doesn't mean that they're bad pieces that you can't use them. It just means that they have a little some full of flaws. So it's actually a pretty good second or third run piece. All right, before we get started, I do think it's necessary to tell you guys that I wouldn't have tried to put this on if I didn't know that the people that I already am working with have already been social distancing and taking the proper steps to be able to cope with doing people's makeup. So everybody has been tested, everybody came back negative, and in the real world, if you were on a production, you might be wearing something more like this. So notice we have a mask, a shield, and gloves. Now in a situation like in a natural production, you'd be around a lot of people all the time, and this would be something that we would need to do now because of our current situation. But where we are now privately, knowing the full well that we've got everybody here, and the fact that we're doing, doing a video and you need to hear us. What? 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 I can't hear you. Take your mask off, I can't hear you. I can't hear you with this mask on. Oh, see, okay. That's <sighs> the reason why we're doing that. So we just wanted to let you know that we are aware of that, we are very conscious of it, but we also wanted to give a little PSA that this is kind of what we would more expect to have happening. So anyway, let's get down to fun stuff. Yeah! back we can show you what the model looks like with her eyeballs in. Ooh. Now we're gonna go ahead and fit her for her teeth. And now for the final look, the final makeup. <laughs> So 
today we are going to be actually applying on Dana here. We're going to be doing some silicone wounds instead of foam prosthetics, which is what you saw over at Andy's station. Um, the silicone wounds are going to be smaller, realistic wound, blood gushy dash. friend here who got messed up. <sighs> tender, tender, sensitive. Okay. Um, there you have it, folks. Gnarly wound makeup. Yeah. What's the number for 911? Alright, well, that is it. Thank you guys so much for being able to tune in and watch and see us create a lot of really fun things for you guys. Um, everybody there at the Monster Day crew and the city of Greeley, thank you so much. That goes out to Allison, Amy, Sarah, Michelle, Brian, and Karen. Thank you guys for putting in all the time for this. Ed and Marsha, we love you guys. And uh, we miss Dead Elvis. If you're there and you're watching Dead Elvis, we miss you. Uh, we also want to give a special thanks to those who have joined us in the past on the MCA crew, like Charlie Crook, um, Aaron Mungin, Gage Thompson, uh, Tony Narvaez, and Tanya Davis, who helped us create some really fun things for the event. And um, hopefully next year, 2021, cross your fingers. Cross your fingers. Okay, we will see you guys in person. We love you guys. Happy Monster Day. Bye. Thanks for having us. Bye. So, Distortions is going to be embarking on a brand new venture called Monster World. Now, I can't tell you very much, but it's going to be opening up in Denver. I really can't tell you much more about it, but it's going to be so exciting, unlike anything you've ever seen. Just stay tuned. Actually, check this out. to Mr. Bubble Barf. So, uh, hey, Mr. Bubble Barf. Hey, you. I bet my belly's bigger than yours. Yeah, my belly is definitely bigger than yours. Seriously. I can lose 20 pounds in a single belt. Ah! Ah! Ah!
I'll need some bonbons or something. <sighs> oh, brother. Amateurs. He's not known for his manners. must come to an end. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Bad things, too. Thank you for letting us and our monsters invade your world for a little while. Ha <laughs> ha! 